Sarah Kelly, 56% of consumers say the social and environmental practices of a company influence their decision to buy a product or a brand. For alcohol companies, it's leading to a big shift in marketing that was previously solely focused on the backstory of the spirit or the beer or even the quality of the ingredients. The growth of e-commerce alcohol also changing the buying experience with more people reading about what they buy as opposed to seeing like an interesting bottle or some packaging in the store. Major alcohol companies have responded by rolling out plans for diverse hiring and sustainability goals. The world's largest brewer, pledging to get 100% of purchased electricity from renewable sources by 2025. Diageo, maker of Johnny Walker and Smirnoff Vodka, aiming for 45% of leaders globally to come from diverse backgrounds by 2030. Beam Suntory, the maker of Jim Beam, rolled out a $1 billion plan to address diversity and sustainability last month. Consumers are resonating to this for sure, particularly the younger consumers. I would tell you the Gen Zs and the millennials are, are responding very favorably to those plans. And people under 38 are twice as likely to make a buying decision based on the carbon footprint of a company than those that are older. Millennials and Gen Z also the fastest growing demographic. So companies, they have a big incentive to address the emerging ESG consumer. Back over to you, Tyler. Frank Holland, thank you very much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.